to be praised and he is worthy to be adored hallelujah he is the great I am he is the prince of peace hallelujah come on somebody just begin to love on him today we appreciate you this morning God we honor your name this morning God we bless your name this morning Jesus hallelujah Jehovah
dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Draw me near to where you are. I just want to be where you are. Dwelling daily in your presence. I don't want to worship from afar. Just draw me where.
come on somebody just thinking to bless the name of the Lord this morning he is worthy to be praised I just need somebody just to begin to focus on him today hallelujah if you know him as your Jehovah Jireh just begin to bless his name this morning if you know him as your Jehovah Rapha just begin to bless his name this morning if you know him glory to God as your Jehovah Shalom I dare you just to praise him today come on somebody just begin to pull out all the stops if you're able to lift your hands this morning just lift your hands to heaven and just begin to give God a praise he is the word to be praised today glory to God he is the word to be adored today he is the great I am he is the prince of peace he is the rose of Sharon he is the bright in the morning star he is the everlasting king this morning we are here hallelujah for one reason and that is just to give God praise is there anybody in this house huh, that despite of all, hallelujah, despite of whatever you're going through today, huh, you have a mind to praise him. Huh, you have a mind to magnify him. Huh, you have a mind to bless his name. Huh, you have a mind to lift him up this morning. Huh, he is a word to be praised. Huh, come on, somebody, let your praises rise this morning. Huh, let your praises rise this morning. Huh, in the building, let your praises rise. Huh, let your praises rise up above your circumstance. Let your praises rise up above your situation. Let your praises rise up. The glory to God above everything that you're going through today. Hallelujah. The psalmist says this poor man cry. And the Lord heard him and deliver him out of all his troubles. Is there anybody in this house this morning? Glory to God. That it seems as if you are in trouble. And the only way you're going to get out of it. Is if you open up your mouth and let the fruits of your lips, the glory of God, take shape in the atmosphere. He is a word to be praised this morning. He is a word to be adored this morning. We give you glory, God. Come on, did it We give you praise this morning, God. We give you honor this morning, Jesus. We stir up the atmosphere with our praise today. We stir up the atmosphere with our worship today. Your word says uh, that you seek and such, that you seek and such to worship you, uh, mighty God, day that worship you, uh, in spirit and in truth. Uh, is there anybody in this house, uh, glory to God, that you face uh, some disappointments this week? Uh, you heard some news uh, that you wasn't expecting, uh, God, that it would have taken your praise, uh, the thought, hallelujah, uh, that you would have keep your mouth shut, uh, but I would enter into his gate. It's the anointing that breaks the yokes. It's the anointing that looses the bonds. It's the anointing that pulls down the strongholds. Is there anybody in this house that you came for? The anointing to fall. The anointing to move. The anointing to shift. The anointing to break the yokes. Let me hear the Bible believers in this house today. Open up your mouth like a trumpet and let your praise echo in heaven. And as your praise go up, I see yokes falling. As your praise go up, I see fetters being loose. As your praise go up, I see breakthrough coming forth. See deliverance coming forth. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Can I get a few people huh? just to touch and agree with me this morning? Before I sing the next song. Before we sing the next song, Ko Shataya. Glory to God. We need God to do huh? what needs to be done. Huh? The Bible says that he is touched huh? with the feelings of our infirmities. Huh? 
So right where you are this morning, God, we worship you, God. Father, we bless your name today, oh God. God, we give you praise this morning. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
blessing. Before I sing the song, I was thinking. The song says, come like a wind. Come like a rain. And come like a fire. And I think what the songwriter meant is that he wanted God to just blow away everything that would try to keep him down and come like a fire and consume him and come like a rain and drench him but I started to think about it sister Stacy and I said God I want you to come like a wind and when you come like a wind God I want you to blow away my enemies when you come like a wind God I want you to blow away everything that will want to stop me and God, when you come like a rain, God, huh, I want you to drench my enemies. Huh. When you come like a fire, God, huh, I want you to consume my enemies. Huh. Come like a wind. Come like a rain. Come like a fire. We're ready, we're ready. Come on, somebody, sing it with me. Come like a wind, come like a rain, come like a fire, we're ready, we're ready. Say, come like a wind, come like a wind.
Somebody sing with me this morning.
see how great, how great, how great, how great is our God. How great, how great is our God. Is our God. Oh, sing with me, how great is our God. Somebody open up your mouth if you're able to stand this in building. 
children and all, I need everybody to stand up. Hallelujah, let's touch and agree together on one accord and just give God praise. Him. He is a worthy to be praised this morning. He is a worthy to be adored this morning. Let your praises, let your praises echo Shakarabahaya. Let your praises, hallelujah, let your praises rise in the house. Let your praises rise in the house. Let your praises, let your praises. Because when the praises of God go up, there is something about when the praises of God go up. There is something about when the praises of God go up. Glory to God, there's two things that cannot stay in heaven at the same time. And that's praises and that's blessings. There's something has to give. There has to be a transaction. There has to be an exchange. So when my praises go up, Glory to God, it's, it's one thing to plant a seed, echo Shatalabahaya, but it's another thing to plant a seed and have an expectation that something is going to come forth from that seed. What am I saying, somebody? That one praise, all you need is one praise. All you need is one praise. All you need is one word from your mouth. All you gotta plant is one praise. One praise. One praise. One praise. I don't know what it is today. Hallelujah. But I need somebody to open up their mouth. I need somebody to open up their mouth. Listen. When you give one praise, the blessings that come back is now one blessing. Because when you plant a seed, and the seed is single, when the tree comes forth, it's a multitude of fruits on the tree. All it takes is one praise to access the many blessings that God has in store for you. Is there anybody in this house? Glory to God, I know we got a program, but there is something about my praise. I hear the Spirit of the Lord says uh, that I already give you access. Uh, the glory to God, I already give you access uh, to access the things that you need. Uh, what is a key? Keto shut out of a higher. What is a key if you ain't put it in a door? What is a car if you ain't driving? Echo shut out of a higher. What is your credit card if you ain't use it? You already have it. It means that you have access. If you have it, you have access. And the last time I checked, the Bible says, let everything that I breath, let everything that I breath, let everything they call Shaka. Let everything that I breath, let everything that I breath, let everything. Come on, Zion, I can't hear you. You can't do better than that. I can't hear you today. He has been good. He has been a way maker. He has been a miracle worker. He has been a promise keeper. I hear your Holy Ghost, the Pope shall under the boat. So I'm here today because God kept me, kept me under the basket. I'm alive today only because of His grace. So I would not let go. Oh, Rabakata. Oh, he kept me. Come on, somebody. Sing with me today. So I wouldn't let go. Say, so I'm here. So I'm here today. Because God kept me. I'm alive today. I'm alive today. Only, Only because of
to be praised. Come on, somebody, stop looking at me funny and open up your mouth and give God the best praise that you have in the building. The fact that you're already here, might as well you praise him. You're already here. Might as well you magnify him. You're already here, Eva Shaya. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get up a bohosha. Yeah. 
worship him today. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. And he is worthy to be adored this morning. We magnify your name, God. We bless your name, God. We give you praise today. We give you glory today. We give you honor this morning. We exalt you, O Lord, with an honor of thanksgiving. With our hands lifted up and our mouth filled with praise. Come on, somebody, we get the praise. your glory. Come on, somebody, right where you are. Stand to your feet in reverence to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised this morning. He is worthy to be adored this morning. We magnify your name, God. We bless your holy name this morning, Jesus. You are worthy to be praised. And you are worthy to be adored this morning. He's an awesome God. He's a wonderful God. I need everybody to be a part of our I ask you to stand. I need you to stand. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. This is God. Psalms 23. If you have it in hand, if you need a Bible, raise your hand. Hallelujah. Glory to be praised. We give you praise this morning. We give you glory this morning. Hallelujah. We're going to read it together. Let's begin. It says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup running over. Surely goodness and mercies shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let's read verse 6 together again. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We give God praise. Come on somebody as you take your seat. Put your hands together. We give God praise for his goodness and for his grace and for his mercies. Amen. It's so good to be in the house of the Lord this morning just to worship the name of the Lord Jesus and just to honor 
in the name of the Lord, amen. I greet the presence and the spirit of the Lord today, who is indeed head of my life, amen. I greet Prophetess Palmer, Pastor Bryce, Minister Chanel in her absence, uh, hallelujah, co-pastor David. God bless you all today, the lovely people of God, amen, the sweet saints of God. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to see you. And then I look around and I don't see any visitors. Glory to God. So I just give God thanks for all the returning visitors. Amen. Amen. It's so good to see Sister Sid's cousin. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for her today. It's good to see. It's good to see her today. God bless you. And it's so good to see. Hallelujah, my I want my dearest sister in the back. Amen. I believe she came back from Jamaica. Right? Right? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for her. Amen. And we just give God praise today. We give him glory and we give him honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you look good. Hallelujah. Look to the other side and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor, you look good. Amen. I am excited this morning. I am excited this morning. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you why. Because yesterday we had a baptism. Amen. And let me tell you, I felt the presence of God. Hallelujah. When somebody, listen, souls are hungry for God. When somebody can fly over a few states, just to come get baptized, you know somebody is hungry. And I thank God this morning. I'm going to ask the sister Letitia Mullings to stand to her feet. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> if you could see the smile on her face. Amen. Yesterday when we lay hands on her and pray, the power of God came down. Glory to God. There was another pastor in the midst, and he draw a little bit closer. And as we begin to pray, he begin to pray with us. Hallelujah. So we give God praise this morning. Hallelujah. Can I have somebody just open up your mouth and just shout hallelujah? Can I have somebody just open up your mouth and just shout? Thank you, Jesus. Somebody stand upon your feet. Glory to God. Open up your mouth like a trumpet today and say God they call Shatarabahaya say God I thank you God I thank you God I thank you God I thank you if you can't praise him for yourself praise him for Sister Nikisha this morning and say God I thank you because one more soul Make up your mind to serve God. Is there anybody in the middle? Hallelujah, that your mind is made up. That your mind is made up to serve God. Hallelujah, we give God praise. We give Him glory. We give Him honor. I feel the presence of God. I feel the presence of God, Sister Anne Marie. Come on, did it be your he is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored this morning. I've got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Mind made up and I won't because I want to see my Jesus someday. Sing it with me, somebody. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back. Because I want to 
to pray and the Lord shall have his way and the glory of the Lord is coming down it's coming down it's coming down 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 it's coming down when the glory of the Lord is coming down hallelujah when, when the church began to pray and the Lord shall have Drop your weapons and flee, because the Lord has given the authority to walk all over you. I command you, Satan, in the name of the Lord, to drop your weapons and flee, for the Lord has given the authority to walk all over you. To walk over you, walk over you, walk all over you.
Messiah, follow me. On the day, on the day of Pentecost, Messiah, follow me. On the day, on the day of Pentecost, Messiah, follow me. On the day of Pentecost, Messiah, follow me. Oh, you gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. When God gets ready, you gotta move.
Come on, somebody, give God a praise. Come on, somebody, give God a praise. He is worthy to be praised this morning. And he is worthy to be adored. How many of us know, glory to God, that God is still in the delivering business. Hallelujah. The Bible says that he is touched with the feelings of our infirmities. So right where you are when you got up out of your bed this morning, hallelujah, glory to God, because he will supply your needs according to his riches and glory. He knows glory to God right where you are. And he knows what you need. So when we come to the house of the Lord, I know we have a program, glory to God. I know we have a schedule. But God has his own program. Is there anybody in this house with me today? Hallelujah, glory to God. God has his own schedule. Hallelujah, glory to God. If we give him precedence uh, to do what needs to be done. Uh, the Bible says that signs and wonders uh, shall follow them that believe. Uh, is there anybody in this house this morning uh, that you believe that he is a miracle working God? Uh, is there anybody in this house this morning uh, that you believe that he is a deliverer? Uh, is there anybody in the house today uh, that you believe? that he can set you free uh, hallelujah you believe that he can break the yokes uh, you believe that he can loose the bonds you believe that he can pull down the struggles uh, is there anybody in the house uh, the glory to God that you believe that we serve a God uh, who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that which we ever even ask or think so even before you think it deliverance is on its way even before it hits your mind God already have the answer is there anybody in the house uh, that you're looking at a situation uh, that seems to be impossible uh, you don't see how you're going to make your way out. You don't see glory to God. The door to go through. But we serve a God today. That there is no situation. We serve a God today. That there is no circumstance. He only can do it. When it look impossible. Because if it's possible, then you can do it by yourself. But the moment it gets impossible, that's when he steps in and do what needs to be done. I need somebody to open up your mouth today. And just give God, give this impossible God that we serve. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just give him an impossible praise. <laughs> oh God, I don't know how it's going to work out. <laughs> but I'm praising you anyway. <laughs> I don't know, God, how it's going to come together, but I'm praising you in advance. If somebody open up your mouth and just begin to praise him. Begin to praise him in advance. Begin to praise him in advance. It looks bleak, God, but I'm going to praise you. It looks like it ain't going to work out, God. Come on, somebody, open up your mouth. As you open up your mouth and begin to shift the atmosphere with your praise, there is something that is happening in the heavenlies. Hallelujah, that you won't go back home to the same situation. You won't go back home to the same circumstance. You won't go back home of feeling depressed. You won't go back home uh, feeling glory to God burning down. Uh, but we serve a God to death. That he is a burden bearer. He is a heavy load. Kotoriandadabashe. Kotamandiridiyoshataya. 
He is a burden bearer this morning. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. And with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And I'm standing here only because. Say you move mountains.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you.
I am here, say God. Strange things have been happening in your home. Strange things have been happening in your home. Come to me now. Come to me now. I am here as Sila Bahanda said, and I sing in Labanda. And then a hot tire time. I have sent my angel, and I saw, said the Lord God Almighty, to clear Robo Sire, clear Ribanda High. In the Bahanda, 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 the I send my angel of deliverance. And with healing in his wings and the I came to transform. I am come, say God, I am come, say God, I am come, say God, Shakatai. Healing, healing and deliver it. I need a warm kickle. I need a warm water. I need warm water. Sakamanda. I need warm. Room Warm. Warm enough not to burn. I hear the Lord say, I have sent Mandalabosaya Mandalabahaya. My angel about that, 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 that so with deliverance Shatabanda. Somebody in this house, there's strange things, strange noise, strange winds, strange feelings in your home, Makatai. And Namandu share. Say God, it be as Come to me now, Sadabanda. Strange things in your house. Come to me. Come to me, Sekatabanda. You could die. You too shall die. You manda say. Don't you do the assai. Don't limit God now. He's in the assai. There's angel in this house. Angel is in this house. Let me just say, God, if I will not do it, said the Lord, I will. I will. Deliver. And I will heal. There's a few of them. I cancel. This is a house of deliverance, say the Lord. Say it. Say it. Shabahanda. This is a house where the eyes of God is in. There's an eagle eye in here. Sikana Hande Yasa. The eyes of the Lord. I feel God. The eyes of the Lord is in this house. What, what, what? Life.
God said, Bababandosha. I hear a heartbeat. Somebody that was about to dead. I see angel. Somebody that was about to die. Somebody was about to die. Who are you? Bring her up, bring her up. Come here, come here. I'm gonna preach. I'm gonna preach. I know everybody don't love the several cups. I don't care what nobody has to say. The angel of the Lord is in this house to cut and to clear. Where's your sister? And the enemy meant dead. Sweetheart, I want you to stand right here. Don't you dare limit God. For the eyes of the Lord is in this house. He see beyond my flesh. And he see beyond what my eyes can see. You won't go back the same way. Kushaya. Hear me? Something is on the inside of you. Kushkata manda ya kasata la bahai. Kushkata la ma kasata raba bahai. Kunda ba kasata rokoto bohoshai. Keta ba kasika tala ba kashataya. Rokuta ba ya katala ma kasetele. Sukunda dada ba kasiti li bahaya. Sondu shanda yande be si ba li bandi asa li ba si li si da ya li ba ita yu shande yenda bandi asi yana ano kota da ya si kana makoto rakata la ba ya sundi bi yande be hindi ta. What was meant? Please, if you can get her to stand up, let her stand up, please. I know that we came to have church and we're having church. Not only the Lord want to fill you with the Holy Ghost, but something that was set for you 
is going to come up out of you. God wanted him to get some things that were set inside of you, out, out of you. Bring up everything, God. Bring up everything out of her. Bring up everything, even that which was set against her. Bring it up from out of her belly. Bring it up. Take it out. Take it out. Fire. What is set against you? Bring me the garbage pen. Bring it up. Bring me the garbage bin, please. I'm gonna move on. I'm, I can't apologize for the Holy Ghost. I can't apologize for what he's doing. I will preach the word, but there's healing, deliverance. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it up. Come out. in this place. Miracle is in this house. Miracle is in this house. Jesus. That's the rest you gotta stay with me.
was praying, I heard a voice said, somebody coming for deliverance today. Today is a deliverance day. This long lady that is here, she is going into a silent madness. She have a lot of things up here. She hear voices talking to her. Use her mom, right? Use her, what you are to her? She don't talk much, but she have a lot of things going inside of her. And she's she eating things. And it's let you come in to be a silent man. And I'm telling you, look out. She's got to get deliverance today. Because she's going to walk away from the home. And cannot, it's going to take you know, a while to find her back. Because there's a spirit want her to walk out of the house. She have a lot of things in her that she's not talking. A lot, lot of things in her. And she go, she's almost silent man. She hearing voice talking to her. Another voice talking to her. And she needs deliverance today. And if she don't get that deliverance, she's going to walk out of the house and no cannot find her. She, you see her here? She is in a silent madness stage. Voices talking to her right now. Shut up, what are you going to all the way from Africa. It comes all the way from Africa. Shai. Zumbe esoboda. Zambundia handa. Zambundia sando robo honda da hai. Zambundia hai. Zembende hende behende. Zebendo huria da da handa. Zambundia rando gonda hande kata. Zamborianda da bando zanda da da. Zambende so de dandan do zanda dan. Zambandi di di anda don di di anda. Kdon dos katain zan bondia. Zambede de handai. I can't do the yasai. But I command you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To leave her alone. Shaboom boom boom da da hai. I command you to leave her alone. Stop targeting her in the night. Stop targeting her at 12 o'clock. Stop targeting her in the midday. Stop targeting her. Subanda hai. Shibunda hai. Zumbe kete. Zumbe ya. Zombeya, 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 
Zombe ya. Zombada haya. Salabahanda. Setu. Zambunia. Hear me. Open your eyes. Open. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. You shall live. It's not over. It's not finished. It's only the beginning. Start over if you have to. Leave that alone. Move on. Move on. Move on from the pain. Move on from the rejection. Move on from the hurt. See, the thing is that it's a civic civic society. Yes, see. Sibiande, yes, I am. Sibiande. Sibibia. Zambibio, son. See, God, sometimes He comes for one. Shubiasa, Mandia, Suniande. So He went to Samaria. Subando, though. You ain't going back the same way either. Zumbadan, done. I speak to the Zandibia. Take the hurt, God. Take. Ah, Subhanallah. Who gave you this? Who's this? Is? for her soul God I war for her soul God I war for her soul assign angels assign the angel of God all around her seal her seal her seal her God In Jesus name I break Every stronghold, every stronghold, every sh by a seal, a band, salabaya soul, every stronghold be broken, every yokes be destroyed by the fire of Shiba Bandai of the Holy Ghost, sweet anointing. Run from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. I break you free. I break you free. I break you free. See my hand. See Lomo Shandai. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. She will run and she will not be destroyed, Pastor. Pastor. She will not go under. We break every curse. We break. We break every hurt, every pain. The residue. Shh. No more. 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 Shake the band No more. No more.
St. Mark, St. Matthew, chapter 14. There's so much. She's still fighting. Sika Maya. Still wrestling. But before I finish preach, it will stop. See behind. Pray, daughter, pray. Pray, daughter, pray. Pray. Salabanda. Matthew chapter 40. Matthew 40. Sister Cosby, come here. Kusha Mandahai, come here. I break the spirit of suicide out of your home. I spread the visitation. Strange wind. Moving in the DBSI, moving through your home. Subanda Dahai. Oh God, strange noise in your home. Mm. Look at me. Kushka Dahai, Sulabadaba. Salabando, Salaba. Strange wind, strange sound, strange noise moving through your house, especially your living room. I see a darkness over there. Only believe God. Only believe God. I'm a coat of Clear you. Clear your house. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You don't understand it. Strange stuff is happening. I smell fire in the living room one night and I get up, there is no fire. I walk through life. You keep doubting God. Y'all keep doubting God. Kushadahaya. You have God in here with you. You're very afraid sometimes in your own home. Because their spirits warring, moving. You hear like wind sometimes, swift sound. I'm going to preach, I promise. I'm going to preach. But there's deliverance in this house. I revoke it. I revoke it. Eviction now. Spirit. Leave. Push, push, tapa. Where should you go? From whence you came. Salabandi kusa. Where should you go? From whence you came. Go back. But I revoke you. Leave God's servant alone. Come out of the house. Come out of that dark corner. Ah, shah, yeah, 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 Not in here. 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 Not Why y'all sitting down like you don't know what God can do? Why y'all sitting down like you don't know what God can do? Jesus God. Jesus God. Jesus God. Shift. Shift. Move. Go. 
rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Can the spirit of God move in this place? Stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands. You're free. The angel, I send the angel to your house with you. Yes. Send the angel to the house. To replace the corner where it was. It's no longer there. Shabandahan. It's no longer there. I hear the Lord said they set you to lose. I don't know what they took for you. But they set your hands to fail. Dabandu kasai. They set your hands to lose. That nothing should stay. Zubaya, Zubada, Zurebandu Boboshai, Sebende Asaya. They set your hands to fail. They said everything that come in your hands should come out like water. Bandu Bahai, where's the water? Down there, run the Dabaso. Kaya? Zalabandai, Zalabohoshai, Zelebandiasai. They said you should not come out. The only daughter for your mom, but they said she shall not make it. And they said something. I don't know what they got for you, but they said, Help me, Holy Ghost, help me. I want to preach. I want to preach. I want to preach. They set your hands to fail. For things to go through your hand that you should not prosper. Many in your family have failed. Their children failed. They've got nowhere. Salabandahai. Sabahai. Kushendehai. And they said that you should not. Not her daughter. Because their daughter did not. Tabakusha. And whatever they took. It's tangible. They took it. And they said witchcraft. Saying that you should not prosper. Anything coming should just run out. It's not that nothing hasn't come in. Quite a bit has come in. But it doesn't stay. And that's the problem. Zibahai. Zambada Woshai. Inadakundi Asaya. I see them take it all the way to Haiti. And they bury it. I wish I had some help. Where are my prayer warriors? They bury it deep. It come in, but it doesn't stay. You don't even know where it goes. You can't explain it. You can't explain the money, you can't explain the business, you can't explain anything. A lot has come in. But I see coming out of your hand like water. Salabandia. I want you to get me an empty cup. Sarubush I speak, Holy Ghost, I servant here with thee. Have your way to that. 
Cool my hand. I, I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach. I know somebody come. And they said, Kushai. They buried and they said, You, the only daughter for your mom, should not rise because their children didn't rise. They say you got potential too much. Everything you set your mind to, you, you shake your head sometimes because you can't. It doesn't add up. Bakasaya. It doesn't add up. You don't know where it goes. Shatai. You can't explain it. Your money. Salabandiai. Everything just goes like water. Because they said it's so. It's not an accident. It's not. I don't know. It's, they said it so. But I revoke it now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I set fire against every captivity. Captivity that holds your finance. Cap uh, captivity that holds everything for you. Candidia soul. Basula baha, basula baha, sabalosa, babasula baha, baluciando, boho salaban, la bakunda, la busa, la balabando. But I go to the ground. La basula baha, God send your angel. Locate it now. Kusha na 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 na. Locate it now. And I speak as a prophet of God. I cut everything loose from you. And the most high. I hear the Lord said, just like Katoshai. Just like the angel went from Moses' body. And the enemy fight against it to get Moses' body. The angel said, I contend not with you. The angel is now fighting on your behalf. He's contending. He's digging up. The location has been found. Oh, yadaba sota labahan. Oh, God. And he's uprooting. And destroying by the fire of the Holy Ghost. And now as the Lord show me to do this. Sister said, I want you to hold one cup. I want you to hold your hands out. Sakoda da handa. Come on, dear sir. Thank you. Come here, Pastor. Sulabonda yai. Give me a cup of water with oil. Rushka de de da handa. Baya sadaba handa. Do you believe God? Subadada da hasai. Double shanda. Does your spirit bear witness with any of this? Is it been like that? Open your hands. Don't close it. Because this time, say, God, you're not going to do it. I'm doing it, said the Lord. So the Lord said what they meant to go away. Pour the water. He's catching it. No more loss. Kudriyanda. No more loss. What come out of your hands? God said, I'm catching it. And I'm giving it back to you, said the Lord. And I'm giving it back to you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup run it over. Oh, by Psalms 23, please somebody give it to me. There is nothing. There's no witchcraft. There's no obia. There's no necromancy. There's no voodoo. There's nothing. I dare the people of God to praise God in here. Brother Andrew put Psalm 23 on there. There's... 
say, I break the curse. I break the spell. I break the chain. I break the barriers. I destroy the yokes by the fire. He leaded me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you fear no evil. For thou art with you. His right and his staff comfort you. He prepared a table before you. Even now in the presence of your enemies. Anoint her head. Da, da, da. Pastor, anoint her head. The head anoint her head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup run it over. Pour that water in the cup. Pour water in the cup. Let it run. Let it run. Miracle. Miracles. Miracles. Breakthrough. Overflow. Cup run it over. Cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you. All the days of your life, the band and you will dwell, and you will dwell, and you will dwell, and you will dwell in the house of the Lord. I break every poverty, I break every spell. Rakatalamanda, victory, victory. We pray like we got victory, victory. Victory! 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 Send up a hand! Send up a head! Send up a head! Victory! No more spell! No more luck! No more loss! No more loss! No more loss! No more loss! God say you're tired of losing! God say you're tired of losing! God say you're tired of losing!
It's coming down. It's coming down. Coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. It's coming down. The giant is dead. It's coming down. The giant is dead. He's coming down. Witchcraft is dead. It's coming down. I said it's dead. It's coming down. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down. I hear a sound. You hear me? I hear a sound. But it's in you. I want you to forget about me. You don't know me now. Never met me now. You never met me now. Salaba handle of Hosaya. Sabanduya. I feel the authorization to fight for you. I want you to open your mind. I want you to forget who's in this house. I want you to put away everything called self. Daku Shamanda. I want you to shout and I want you to walk. I want you to do whatever God tells you to do. Because this time, say God, as I stand as a prophet of God, the stump is coming down. Giant is dead. We have his head. And he will never rise to conquer again. We know the bigger they are the harder. Therefore, we have killed the giant we have slain. Goliath, hallelujah. I won't tell you what to do, but I dare you to loose in here. Loose in here. Do whatever. Rise. Hear me. It's crushing time. Not to, not to rise anymore. Not to come back. If you ever killed something never to come back, I want you to kill that spirit. Somebody says spirit can't die. Oh, no, 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 no. But it can be shut down. The operation can be shut down. I want you to wipe it out. The giant is dead.
But there are days when you got to get real tired. There are days when you got to get real determined. And there are days when you got to say, if I got to go to war for this, I'm going to go. Because the devil come to destroy, to rob your body and everything you have. But I declare and decree over your own main, main and rice, and rice. That Basai, no more. No more. Kadabasa, Kadabahanda. Kashe Bahai. I go to Bosi, I go in, Matthew chapter 40, I go in for you. And I cut it loose. I go where you can't go. Cut up behind. And I remember the spirit and I cut it down. No heart attack. No, nothing is no sickness. You cannot, you will not go out. Not now. Not now. Not now. Could that die? Could you clear? In the name of Jesus Christ. I know some of you come to hear the word. So I'm going to the So I'm going to go read the Asha. Jesus said, I didn't come for them that was well. I come to heal. I come to deliver. I come to set free. I was reading this text this morning called Pastor David. And I felt led to read to read from verse 22 to the end. And I'm gonna read it and the end verse. Is where I believe he wanted me to reach. Why the service turned the way it is. And to our pastor, the under shepherd of this house, I give honor to God's servant. It's okay to put your hands together for him. Because I believe that his heart is after God's heart. Kushamandai. Can I tell you the truth, Zion? I don't even feel like me right now. I don't even see me. I've seen somebody else here. I know it sounds crazy. I'm not losing my mind, I promise you. I see somebody else here. I don't know if you see, but I see it. I see. Sister say, me, I see somebody else moving. La boche de anda, see la mahanda. And the devil wanted me to cut off the life because he don't want to see the power of God moved. But God wants people to still believe that he's seen and that there are still miracles among us. Straight away, Jesus commands, strength. His disciples to get into a ship. To go before him onto the other side. While he sent the multitude away. When he had sent the multitude away. He went into a mountain apart to pray. When the evening was come. He was there alone. And the ship was now in the midst of the sea tossed. It waves. For the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. Peter answered unto him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come. 
to be underwater. Because strange things happen. And the impossible ability sometimes appear. Bid me to come. He said, come. When Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. When he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid, begin to sink. He cried out, saying, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him. He said unto him, Thou, O thou, O thou, O thou. Oh, thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, brought unto him all that were deceased. There diseased. They brought to him all that had disease. They brought to him all that had an issue. They brought to him all that felt sick in their body. They brought to him all that was weary in their mind. They brought to him all that had pain in their joints. They brought to him not some Ebashandadabahaya have a seat. They brought to him not those that had some issues. He was not specializing in one area. He wasn't partial. Glory to God. But they brought to him all. Somebody say all. All. Preach Holy Ghost. That were diseased. Brother Andrew, Brother Travis, they didn't say they brought to him all that had a mental problem. They didn't say they brought to him all that had sickle cell. They didn't say they brought to him all that had him in a little wound on their body. But they brought all disease. When you speak about disease, you're speaking right across the board. Because there are different type of di disease that has to be diagnosed. That has to be called out. And each one is treated differently. And some are deeper than some. Some goes on the epidural. Hallelujah. Some goes beneath. Hushaya. Preach Holy Ghost. God is no respect of person. I got to close up with verse 36. Got to go back there with that. That's my key verse 36. Jesus went, the story started out by telling us that he was on the mountain teaching. The Bible began to tell us that there were about 5,000 people there. Hallelujah. And as he teach, the word grab a hold of them. Because there's something about the word of God. And I don't know about you, but there's something about sitting in the presence of the almighty God. It makes a difference when you sit under the anointing. It's almost as if something arrests you. When the anointing comes... It's unexplainable. 
Many tried to explain the anointed one. Many tried to explain the Christ, the anointed one. Many tried to figure out what he's called, what he's here for. Why did he came? Hallelujah. But Jesus was not about to explain himself. All he came to do was to heal the sick. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel. To set at liberty those that are bound. And to set the captive free. Now if everybody was free, daughter Zion. The scripture wouldn't say what it says. But because somebody among the crowd was bound. Somebody among... Y'all got to bear with me. I just... I'm, a try, I'm trying to preach it because my strength is almost gone. But I got to deliver this word because I believe it's not finished yet. Hallelujah. He said, I come for a purpose. And my purpose will not be override. My God. I come to preach the gospel. Because the word is life unto us. He said, I come, Brother Travis, to set those that are bound free. In other words, Elisha, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the patriots were bound, hallelujah, in a place. Hallelujah to God. They were in a place. That they were not liberated yet. Because Christ had not yet died. And rose from the grave. So after his resurrection. The Bible said he walked the earth. But before he walked the earth my sister. He went down to hell. And he took the key. Of death and the grave. He got up out of the grave. See, Satan, when he was loose, had the keys. He had the authority. He meant to put sickness on your body to kill you. Hallelujah. He had authority over the grave. Pastor said, key is an access. And if you have access and you don't use it, it become of none effect. So when he went down to hell, he released them. Under the Boshire. He released them. And the Bible said they got up and they walked the earth. Y'all ain't in your Bible. <laughs> the old patriots, the old prophets, got up and walked the earth because they were free. And the Bible said that when he went up to heaven, he said, all power is given unto me. And I give you power to trample over serpent. My God. To step upon demons. Under the Messiah. Some of you are afraid because you hear a strange wind. Some of you are afraid because you see the hand of Satan moving. But I come to tell you that there is a power that come to break you loose from every captivity. So the Bible said that after he finished feed the multitude, he went away somewhere to pray. Because prior changes things. And if you're ever going to move in the power of God. And if you're ever going to feel the authentic power of God. And if you're ever going to get the fullness of what God has for you. You have to have a prior life. So Jesus set an example for us. He told the disciples, go on the ship, get 
on the boat and go over to the other side. He said, get on the boat. Just like some of us. He said, give your life to me. Get on this ship. This ship to glory. Hallelujah. He told you to go. But he stayed back for a moment. And some of you are saying, God, where are you? Because you're on the ship. My God. And you don't see Jesus on the ship. But you know that you know that it was God that told you to do it. You know that you know that it's God that called you from Philadelphia to be baptized in his name. You could not explain it, Sister Stacy, but something was pulling you to God. Get on the ship. He gave them the direction. And they obey and went on the ship. And then Jesus stayed back. How are you going to tell me to go? But you stayed back. How are you going to tell me to do this? But you stayed back. Nevertheless, I'm going to obey you. They got on the ship, mother. And when they got on the ship, Jesus went into prayer. Why did Jesus go into prayer? Because he saw the wind. He saw the storm. He saw what was coming. And being God and man in flesh, he had to counteract something because he teaches them in Luke chapter 11 or 10. He said, when you pray, say, our father, Shanda, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. Tell your neighbor, somebody have to pray. He sent them ahead because in man, in flesh, 100% man, earth need to touch with heaven. Earth need to co-labor with heaven to work on earth. I teach it before, but I'll say it again. Spirit have no legal right in the earth. Spirit need authority to move in the earth what do you mean even satan asked god to touch job even the demons the legions that was in the man's body asked him if you're gonna cast us out send us into the swine because we are of no good just moving in the realms of the here he love ashanda if we're going to destroy, we need a hand to use. Y'all ain't hearing me. If we're going to destroy, we need a body to use. My God. So then Jesus said, go into the swine. So watch this. Jesus stayed back. Not because he didn't know or not because he didn't want to be with them. But because he knew what was ahead of them. And somebody had to intercede on their behalf. I know you don't feel him right now. I know you can't sense where he is now. But tell your neighbor, it doesn't have to make sense. Just do what he said. While they were going over, the Bible said Jesus got up and began to walk towards them. As he began to walk towards them, the Bible said they thought they saw a ghost. They thought it was just a spirit Lord God. coming after them. And they got afraid, Sister Miriam, because they thought it was a spirit that's coming to attack them. They're in the ship. And 
and they saw Jesus walking towards them. On his way, walking towards them. Somebody had a connection. Peter was the only one in the boat that cried out to Jesus. Twelve, eleven other is in the boat, but one cried out. Eleven is in the boat, but one was more desperate than the others. Twelve was in the boat, but one said, I need you and I need you now. Twelve was in the boat, and your pain may not be my pain. Your heartache, Lord God, I got to sit down and preach this because my strength is almost gone. Let me sit down because I want to preach this word. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Twelve was in the boat, but one decided to cry out. Could it be that he felt more than the others? Could it be, Brother Travis, that he wanted more than the others? Could it be that he had more faith than the others? Peter stood up and cried out, Lord. That goes to tell me he didn't only have a cry, but he had vision. It didn't only have a cry, but he had inspiration. It didn't only have a cry, but he, was, he had, amen, insight. Because 11 saw ghosts, but Peter saw Jesus. None of us sit down. Everybody will understand your cry. Everybody will understand why she come crying so much. Why she makes so much noise? Why she praise God so much? Why she walk out so much? Is it enough she enough so? But tell your neighbor, I see something. And even though it don't make no sense, and even though it's not adding up, and even though it's not looking like I want it to look to, I see something. On the Messiah, it's something supernatural. It's something extraordinary. Walking on top of the water. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Faith is facts. Faith is proven. Faith went on the biopsy. I feel like walking. Somebody said, walk, Holy Ghost. Faith is as red as you see the exit sign. Yes, Mahaya. But there's something called the supernatural. Power. So Peter looked and saw Jesus walking. He shook his head because this is not supposed to be. How can Jesus walk on water? Man was created to walk on the earth. Man was never created to walk on sea. Man was never created to walk on water. The last time I check, if you put your hands in water, it goes under. If you put your hands in water, it's going to go down. Because there's no solid foundation to stand upon. But I heard, I heard, the songwriter said, On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All on the ground is sinking sand. My faith is telling me that this is what it is. But I believe God for the impossibility. 
And the Bible said that as Jesus walked towards them, Peter cried out and said, if it's possible, tell me to come. Give me one word, Jesus. I don't need nothing else. I just need one word, Jesus. I know it's not possible. I know it doesn't make no sense. But give me one word. And the Lord said unto Peter, Please understand this. Sister Peter again. If Peter had just sit in the boat, Jesus would have still gotten to the boat. But something supernatural would never happen. If Peter didn't cry out, Jesus would still get on the boat. But there wouldn't be a miracle. I just need somebody to cry out. You don't have to understand my cry. You don't have to put my cry together. This cry that I'm making doesn't have to make no sense to you. But all I know, I'm crying out to the only source that can help me. I got to wrap this up real quick. Take is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If faith is the substance of things hoped for, hope is the factor, is hope the factor? Do I have to have faith or do I have to have hope? I can believe, but I may not have hope. I can believe because I can see it. I can believe because I can touch it. So I believe you're here. I know you're here because I'm touching you. But hope is believing you're here, but you're not here in person. Anybody getting it? So I need hope when everything has failed. I need to keep hope alive. I need to keep hope alive when it doesn't look good. I need to keep hope alive when I can't see it. So Peter said, if it's you, me to come. Come on, Pastor Palmer, let me close this up. Peter was not testing Jesus. Because the Bible tells us not to do that. But Peter was pulling on Jesus in a way that nobody else was. A few years ago, the Lord told me, he said, I should go into ministry full time. And I struggled because the foundation that I was standing on seems more sure and stepping out. I stand on the foundation, 40 hours it's called, a paycheck every two weeks. Sorry, I'm cutting up the message because I already took a lot of your time. Well, you did. And he said, I'm going to release you. And I said, I felt the power of God shake me in the car and I went into work late. I refused to do it because of what I told myself. 
and I started to go to work, Sister Anne. And I'm not telling anybody to leave their job. I want to show you something. God help me to finish this. And he said, step out. He said, I'm going to release you. And all hell break loose at the job. I've been there six years, going seven. I never got right up. And I knew it like the back of my hand. All of a sudden, I started to get right up. I went home. I cried because I left the job. Didn't know where the money was coming from. I got right up. Didn't leave yet. Just got right up, but got mad in my feelings. So I said, I'm going home early. And I went home early. And I call out the next day as I sit in the room crying, didn't know where the money was coming from. A woman called me. She wasn't my friend. She wasn't my associate. There was somebody I fellowship with. She called me. We started talking. I, she said she was going to give me $1,000. Said, a matter of fact, I'm going to give you $2,000. She wasn't my friend. She wasn't somebody that I had fellowship with. I was worrying how I'm going to get the money. Because God will prove himself to you little by little. He will give it to you in portion. In pieces to see if you're really going to trust what he says. He's doing it, but he's doing it in portion. It's not coming in the lumps on one time like he told you. But he's slowly developing it. He's working. Tell your neighbor he's working on it. He's working on it. He's working on it. One conversation turns into come meet me in Fort Lauderdale. Drive down to Fort Lauderdale the same day. Got $2,000 in my hand cash. With no attachment. The Lord said I'm going to bless you. No attachment. Because it's going to be divine. I went back to work. Ah. Went back to work after God did that. And God said, come. Hell start break loose. Hell. I left again in one to an associate home, Brother Travis, and I did something crazy. I sit on the bed. She took the phone. And she said, call them. Tell them you're not coming back. I got a, son, a daughter. I'm married. I got bills to pay. Tell them you're I picked up the phone and I called them. And I said, I'm not coming in. They said, okay, we'll see you tomorrow. I said, no, I'm not coming back. And they said, can we talk? No, I'm bringing my badge card. I didn't know what craziness this I'm doing. It doesn't make no sense, God. We never had a church yet. Just had a prayer line. I don't even know if we had that yet. But I have a. He stand with me. And he walked off. Doesn't make no sense. In a space in between. Doesn't make no sense. There's nothing to step on. It's been six years, going seven years. God has done for me what nobody else could do. Come, I know you can't see it. Come, I know it doesn't make no sense. Come, I won't make you fall. Come.
to, but, but it doesn't make no sense. I don't know who this word is for. And I'm sorry, I don't feel like rushing. I'm, I'm going to close. But I, I don't feel like preaching you, have you? But there's somebody that the Lord is talking to. That's what he, he gave me. He said, it doesn't have to make sense. That's my topic. That's what he gave me. It don't if it makes sense, it ain't faith. If it makes sense, it ain't hope. If it makes sense sometimes, it ain't the word. Step out. Come. And Peter, get up, Sister Stacy. Because in order for you to get what God have, you got to let go what you know. And some of us are still open, holding on to what we know. In one hand, and trying to reach God with the next hand. Oh, I'm preaching in this house. I don't care if I get an amen. I'm preaching. You're holding on to your knowing. And God said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. How do I make a lily bloom in the valley? In the valley, there's no water. In the valley, the earth is dry. In the desert, the sun is hot. There's no spring in to sustain the lily. But the lily bloom. How long will you doubt me? Can I not do? Can I not do it? All I'm asking you is to come. See, what we miss is that we were the first one that spoke. It wasn't Jesus. Peter saw Peter speak and he responded. You pray and he responded. Now it's your move. You're playing chess, but you're stuck. Not because you don't have a move, but you choose not to. Sister Marsha is just a power. Fire, 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 fire. I'm almost finished. Fire, fire. How you say you trust me, but you won't step out. Peter said, if it's you. How many of us ask God if this is you? God, if it's this is you. Make it work. God, if it's this you, I'm going to do it. God, if it's you, speak. God, if it's you, give me a confirmation. Dreams after dreams after dreams after dreams after dreams. And you take them for nightmare. Peter said, I'm going to finish. I'm finishing. Peter said, if it's you, tell me to come. Show me him. Show me him. Show me who he is. Show me who she is. And God did it. Peter said, okay, I'm going to step out. Never recorded anywhere ever after that or before that, that a man walked on water. Never ever recorded anywhere else before that humanity walk on water. But somebody had enough faith and hope. Somebody had enough faith and hope that it's not what the statistic says. That is not what man says. That is not what my mother said. That is not what the witch said. That is not what the warlock said. That is not what my past said. But it's what God said. And you have a future ahead of you. And it's good. Could it be, Pastor? That while he was getting ready to step out, the 11 said, No, Peter, no, Peter, no, Peter. 
it be, Pastor? Come, Pastor David, that as he was about to make the first step, somebody said, Peter, you're crazy. What do you mean you're going to start the business? You're crazy. What do you mean you're going to lock? You're crazy. I feel like preaching. I'm going to wrap it up. I won't preach next week. Unless he says so. Peter, stop. Peter, come back. What you doing? What you doing? Why would you do that? That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense. Oh God, I'm high. Man, be high. Y'all think he wasn't discouraged by them? Y'all think they really stood there and said nothing? The Bible may not write it, but I believe they did. But Peter said, I'm forgetting all that is behind me. I'm forgetting everything that has been done. I'm forgetting, oh God, even my ability. And I'm stepping out by faith. Hallelujah. I'm stepping out because he gave me a word. I'm stepping out because he's Jehovah Jireh. I'm stepping out because he's Jehovah Nishi. I'm stepping out because he's Jehovah Rophi. I'm stepping out because he's my deliverer. I'm stepping out. Yeah. Because he is my way maker. It doesn't have to make sense to you. It doesn't have to add up. But I believe God. And where he lead me, I will follow. He leading me. He leading me by his own hand. He needed me. Peter got up on the boat. There's something outside of the boat. There's something greater. There's something more powerful. There's something for me. But I got to step out. I got to trust him. I got to believe him. If I don't have the others, the 11 may stay back, but I'm going to go. Everybody else may say no, but I'm going to go. It's forward. Still, it's the obvious way. It doesn't look like God. Tell your neighbor, it doesn't have to look like God. Katababa Shire. For the Bible said, he that come to God must believe that he is God and the character of the Lord God is he's omnipotent, he's omniscient, he's in the Messiah, he's infinite, the character of God said my hands are not too short to deliver you, my ears are not too heavy to hear you cry, please trust me with what you have left, don't worry about what you lost, trust me with what you have, no matter, no matter, what it looks like, trust me to carry you. Peter, come, for I was wounded for your transgression. Come, because I was bruised for your iniquity. Come, trust me. If you don't come out of the boat, you won't get what God has. If you don't trust him, you won't get your breakthrough. If you don't step out of your familiarity, you won't get it. But if you come out of what you know and trust in the God you know, don't tell me about your problem. Tell me about the problem solver. Don't tell me how big it is. Katamoshi and I. It don't look normal, Peter. It's beyond your country. 
natural. But Peter start to walk. And maybe. Should I move? Should I not move? Should I go? Should I not go? I, I have ears behind me, voices talking behind me, saying, come back, come back, come back, come back. But, but, but the minute that I took the step, I went out too far already. And be a sigh. I just can't give up now. I just can't give up now. I've come too far to turn back now. I can't go back. I've come too far, so you keep on walking. Tell your neighbor, keep on walking. Tell your neighbor, keep on believing. Tell your neighbor, keep on moving. For the more you walk, is the closer you get into Jesus. The more you move, is the closer you get into Jesus. Tell your neighbor. The more you move, you're getting closer to your breakthrough. Can I tell somebody this? You're further away from the problem and closer to the solution. I wish somebody would move. I wish somebody would step. I wish somebody would move. I'm closer. I heard the songwriter said, He's my bridge over trouble water. If you don't have no trouble water, you don't need no bridge. If you don't have enemies, you don't need no table. If you ain't sick, you don't need your own your own But for those of you, you're crying about the problem. You're worrying about the trouble. Don't you know your trouble is the evidence? Your enemies are the evidence. Your problem is the evidence that Jesus is on the way. That you're closer to Jesus. That a bridge has been built. If you never have a why are you worrying about the trouble? Trouble create bridge. Trouble create miracle. Sing that's great healing. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Somebody need you. Help me, Jesus. For somebody's crying, but they don't understand. We don't need no napkin. We don't need no rug to dry the eyes. As a matter of fact, we don't need the scripture that says, weeping. Weeping, endure for a night. If you was a pin, you don't need no joy. I just need somebody to shout on that. turning it around I come to tell about several people that you're closer than when you started so for six years for about seven years going eight I've been walking on water what do you mean, prophet? I don't have a nine to five. What do you mean, prophet? It's one person working. What do you mean, prophet? I got a word. I don't know where the next step is coming from. But the cement is coming up. The brick is coming up. My feet... It's not going under. 
because he got me I keep on walking I don't see it some days I don't know where it's coming from but I will lay on my bed and somebody will come and say God told me to give you this I've been in this church and God sent people say bless my daughter do you know why because he said come Tell your neighbor, walk. Lord Jesus, tell your walk. Tell your neighbor, walk. Shatabahai. Satalabahosaya. Itabahosaya. Katabahosaya. Some people may tell them for walk and them say so. God may say for walk. Walk like you go somewhere. I speak everything you desire. 
now once upon a time I used to preach to impress people once upon a time I used to pray to get people on the chandelier preach to get them there but I have come to a maturity place where I don't care if they get on the chandelier I know what God word says I preach the word and the word is God and God is the word and the word can't fail. Come.
Lord. Lord. I just believe. I really do, God. I believe you for miracles in this house. I really do. I really don't just preach this, God. Because I don't believe what I do. I've proven you. Now let your people prove you. You are all that matters. I'm believing you to take the disease out of your body. I'm just a vessel, Lord. I'm really just a vessel. Show your signs and your wonders. Prove the doubters wrong. You're still mighty. them feel the warm fire of God in their belly, in their body, burning out the things. I'm finished. Bring me the offering plate. God is going to prove it. God is going to prove it. God is going to prove it. He's going to prove it. I know you may think this is an ordinary day. But this day is not an ordinary day. This service is not an ordinary service. This service today is different from the other services that you've been in. God is at a place with you that he wants to do the extraordinary. And I don't care if it makes sense to you. But God told me, he said, it doesn't have to make no sense. But if they step out on my word. And Sister Stacy, the thing that looks impossible become possible because the possibility is in it. Trust him for everything. It doesn't have to make sense. When Jesus got over the other side, Brother Travis, there were some people waiting for him so that he could have healed them. What you're going through now, what you're facing now, Brother Travis's preparation to take you to the greater place. When you get over the other side, some of you have already stepped over it. Times and to preach. To get sometimes I go back home shaking my head. What did I just do? What what did I just do? Because I've allowed his spirit to take me over so much that I do some things that just seem so crazy when I think about it. 
But I'd rather leave home, leave here in shame, and then say, what did I do than not do what I would do? Because I don't truly know everything that everybody in this house is going through. And I don't truly know where everybody is. But all I know, that God is in the house. And all I know, there's trouble in the house. Because he wouldn't tell me, let them cross over something they can't go on. If there wasn't miracles in the house. It was a miracle to walk on the water. It's never been seen and it never happened after that. And you may not be just the water walking, but you're, you have something that you have to walk over. You have something that you have to walk on. You have something that you have to overcome. Hear me? We're going to collect the tithes and the offering. I want you to give your best today. And I want you to know that God will never make you sink. He will never make you sink, Peter Gay. He'll never make you sink. Because even when Peter was going down, he grabbed him and bring him on the boat. And let me tell you, as he get on the boat, the wind ceased. But what if he never stepped out? I want you to give your best in this house today. I'm going over. I'm going over. I'm believing God, Sister Miriam, for the impossible. You hear me? I'm not asking you for an offering. I'm asking you for a faith seed. I don't ask for seed much in this house. And many have talked about me asking for seed. But I've gotten many testimonies because of those seeds that I've asked for. Because I ask when God leads. So I'm asking you to sow into this. Tell me you know me. I don't do this much. What am I believing God for? What are you believing God for? What do you want different? I don't want you to just give your offering. I want you to sow for the impossible. Come, Peter. Okay, God, I'm going to obey you. Come, Peter. Okay, God, I'm going to step. Those of you that are online, only speak what God give me to speak. This church, I don't know, but there's a lot of you that need something extraordinary and uplifting. I don't want you to live. I don't want this to be the church where we live from check to check or trying to, you know, just like barely... Barely making it. Just have five dollar left over. No, 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 no. I need more than that. You don't, you don't believe you can have it. You don't believe we can be that church. I need you to bring your seed, your tithe. And I'm not asking you to just give an offering. Hear me. I'm asking you to trust God for the impossibility. Bible said, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of God. I'll never prostitute anybody. Torm, I'll never, never do it to you. But I know, 
I know what God is doing. Come. We're already out of order. But in God's order. We're already out of the program. But in God's program. I will. I want you to. It's the remain of the swipe machine. I want you to come because I want to pray over this. I want you to come as you write it as you. Hold on. Thank you, Lord. The other day, somebody in this house, very gifted to dream. I had a dream the other day. That the saints are asked to sow into our next building. For our next building. You know what I believe, sis? That if we had more room, we had more people. I know. We need a building. I want you to give. Please believe me. Ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. So into this ministry. Come on. I pray for this myself. Come on. Come on, come on, so, all right, let me show you, your tithes is not your seed, okay, yes, put everything in there, but your tithes is not your seed, church, let's be a giving church, let's be a faith church, those of you online, so, believe God for your extra. Believe God for your miracle. Jesus. Precious Jesus. Your tithes is not your seed. I want you to give. To trust you. And I, I, I'm not taking no pay out of this, so you know. The church don't pay me. I'm in full time ministry, but God pay me. Trust Him. And I prove Him more and more. Jesus, Jesus. The Travis, I don't want the ordinary. Need more for my family. To trust you. Say Jesus, Jesus. Lift your hand and sing to him. How I trust him. How I owe him more and more. I'm a prophet of God and I stand prophesy over these seeds they will never come back the way they go in but multiplication okay see and blessing upon me say Jesus oh Jesus I'll trust him I'll. those online believe God Belief is profit and give so. Manda, yeah, 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 yeah. Precious Jesus. Oh, oh, grace. Trust. Say, Jesus. How I. Anybody see my phone? 
Jesus, Jesus. put it here. I'm going to pray over here. I don't want you to miss it. I want it to be in the prayer. So come. Let me put mine in. Bible said Abraham Isaac Jacob every time you saw Jehovah Jireh God did something and they built an altar and they gave him like a sacrifice a lot of people get seeds mixed up God bless people make a sacrifice God deliver, people make a sacrifice. God heal, people make a sacrifice and call it Jehovah Rofi. God provide for Isaac, he built an altar, sacrifice and call it Jehovah Jireh. Abraham, Jehovah Real Boaz. God made room, God provide a sacrifice. Your sacrifice today will not be overlooked. Everybody finish. Us.
more than enough. That's what I just hear, get enough, more than enough. I just hear that, more than enough. I say, I just heard more than enough. I just hear more than enough. More than enough. More than enough is coming. Oh my God. Oh my God. Anybody be a wing? Oh my God. More than enough. Stand on your feet. We're going home. Oh my God. Hola, Mandesa. More than enough. Thank you, Jesus. I receive it. It is so. I receive it. It is so. I receive it. It is. Uh, na, 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 na. It is so. Good God Almighty. I receive it. Church, I'm more than enough. Say more than enough. Thank you, Lord. I love you. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your move in this house. I thank you that your people waited on you. I thank you that they're still here and they didn't get weary. I pray, God, that you bless each and every one of us, even those online that has viewed in. I know, God, that we're not the normal church because the normal church would have over it already. But this is the supernatural church, a supernatural manifestation of power of God. And I thank you for your manifestation. And I thank you that you're still with us. And I thank you that you still give us encounter. And I thank you that you still work miracles. Now, Lord, I pray that you will protect us as we go home. Seal us under the blood of Jesus now. Father, every backlashes, every retaliation, every move of the enemy that will come against us, we bind, we shut them down now, and we render them null and void. They have no effect and they have no power against us. We walk in victory. Come on, somebody say, we walk in victory. We walk in victory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Our strength. Our redeemer. Somebody say glory to God. Koshana na